Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here at CatchJitsu.com. What do I have here? I got my SIG P320 Compact in my uh, Space Marine Cobra Kydex holster that sleeps next to my pillow every night so I could quickly throw it on if need uh, be. Very good holster, by the way. Got a review on that. But, you know, it's getting a little scuffed up with my skin and stuff, even though I barely use this pistol. I got a couple scuffs up. So, uh, today, what do you think we got today in today's What's in the Box? In today's episode of What's in the Box, we got our new Wilson Combat Grip Module, 320 Grip Module, carry standard, no safety, as well as an extra base plate in case it turns out I need it. So, take a look at this, guys. This supposedly is going to change everything. I have not put my hands on it yet, so we're going to get that live to see what it feels like to me. And then we'll swap it out. So, looky here, it comes already with the uh, mag release installed, SIG Metal mag release. You got the star pattern. Should be grippier, should be thinner up here. A little thinner for faster reholstering there. Let's look at the Wilson Combat. Features upgraded high cut 1911 style beaver tail, undercut front strap, and reshaped radius trigger guard for highest grip possible. That means less recoil, faster follow up shots. Enlarged integrated magwell with uh, X series base plates, so I got one of those. Improved grip traction, increased grip pattern, starburst grip pattern, aggressive texturing. I like the way that looks. Now, obviously, I've spent about a year and a half of my life in Japan. I can see how some people feel differently from other countries. Frame reference serrations for support hand, thumb, or index finger uh, positioning. So it looks like there is a reference point. Integrated grip slots for tungsten weights sold separately. I did not know this had that ability. Wow, that's cool. Okay, in case I wanted to compete with it. Angled holster cuts on light rail to aid in snag free reholstering. Factory SIG magazine release pre installed, compatible with all standard holsters. Now let's open this bad boy up. I'm really, really hoping I like this. Gives you an idea what it looks like. Alright, the hand test. Oh, nice aggressive texturing on the front and back. Wow, very aggressive on the front and back. Oh, and the sides is very nice too. Oh, it feels like a much higher grip. I think that's going to get me a master grip on my draw a little bit better. Occasionally when grabbing the regular, I end up with just a little bit of space when I'm practicing like emergency CCW type, uh, you know, draws, like you're responding quickly. That feels like a much higher grip. Wow, it is very grippy on the sides and very, very like skateboard tape on the front and back. Uh, I don't think this is going to move in my hands. So my thumbs forward grip there, I'd be activating my light. Uh, I like it a lot. Cleared weapon. Yeah, you can see here where the beaver tails lie. Look how much higher it is on the left. I don't know if the camera can, you guys can make that out. So putting the module on the same upper part where the slide rides, that's a good little bit. And that's the one thing I didn't like about that. People complain about high bore access. I don't really feel it, but I always felt like I should be able to get a little bit higher. And some of my draws mess up and I get down there a little bit. Um, this is worth it just to get the higher purchase. Just to get the higher purchase, this is going to be worth it, I think. Um, way more grip texturing. Way more grip texturing. It's not going to slide. Uh, a better undercut, it seems like. Yeah, 
Yeah, a bit, 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 bit higher, bit deeper of an undercut. Uh, still got the four rails for my light. And obviously it's going to look a lot better. Oh, Magwell. Hello, Magwell. This is really firm. Please work with these mags. Okay, these are Act mags. Boom. It works. Oh, it's worth it for the funnel. This is definitely worth it, even without shooting it yet. Angle off. Wow, it just feeds it up. That's a great Magwell. All right, Act mags work. Let's verify the second one. Even at weird angles, it's feeding in. The release is working great. All right, let's try an ETS mag. I've only used this once at the range. I was getting failures as common in the last round. Now it's been sitting for a few months, though, so I'm curious what it will be like taking this to the range. That seems to lock in there. Um, stiff, you got to strip it. But it seems like it will work. It looks like it's a little high. Um, I'll be curious to see if I get any fails now that this is sat in there with the ETS mag. But those are just training mags. Uh, anyway, guys, okay, so we're going to pause it there and get it on the gun. All right, guys, we're back. Look, it is awesome. The Wilson Combat Grip Module. It feels like a totally new handgun, which honestly is what I needed because I didn't take this one to the range near enough. Much higher grip as we talked about earlier. I'm getting a full grip on it compared to the compact uh, original module, but it feels way, way it is thinner in the grip. So it's going to, I have XL hands. It feels better for me. It feels more like a target competition pistol now. Uh, basically, this now feels like PPQ level ergonomics with better forward and back grip texturing to keep it stable and even perfectly underneath my pinky here the uh, magwell so basically as good as ppq ergos i mean it doesn't feel as nice but it feels like it's not going to slip around as much either which i really don't have a problem with on ppqs but now it's really gripping in even better for self-defense for target shooting for competition uh etc so it is indeed way higher, but it feels way, way, way thinner, guys. So up here, it's way thinner. Here, it's actually thinner because it's rounded. Okay, so for most people, you got a woman that like a P320, maybe your wife, girlfriend, it feels to her eh, kind of blocky. Um, it's going to feel much better, much better to most women and smaller statured, smaller people because this is rounded. It's not actually blocky and, and um, it's much thinner up here, but it's also thinner here. It feels like a totally different pistol. If you look here, this is chunky and just a little bit rounded, but it really is pretty blocky. It fills up my full palm. Again, I have excellent hands. This feels much, much, much thinner. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference. Let's uh, put the tangs together. If you can, you can kind of tell there, can't you? You see how rounded it is versus the original on the left, the Wilson on the right. So to demonstrate how much of a difference that is, guys, here perfectly with a good grip in the back of my webbing, there's the mag release. It's a bit more under my thumb because I'm higher on the beaver tail. And if you can see, the mag release is going in the bottom. It's in the bottom one third of my fingernail on my thumbnail. And I can actually hit the mag release without adjusting my grip. I'm used to doing that. But I can easily hit it without adjusting my grip. Compared to... Here, so we're talking about circumference and trigger reach uh, and, and finger reach. Here, if you look at the mag release, it's kind of more in the middle or the top part of my, of my thumbnail. And it's kind of more on it as opposed to below it. So if I look there, it's kind of more on the top. 
So that should show you there is indeed a difference between the rounded off for reach and uh, circumference length. I mean, I don't have a tape measure, but it is very much there. So higher, much better grip, magwell. Uh, overall, guys, I'm really impressed. It changes my gun. It feels like a new gun. It, it excites me now. I can't wait to get it to the range. Uh, you're going to like it better if you're a competition shooter because it's grippier and you're, you're, you're going to be able to reset shots. Your splits might lower a little bit faster because you're higher up underneath the bore axis. Um, it should help possibly, you know, shave a little bit of time because of the magwell on the reloads. So, uh, I did have one Sig Mag, guys, and I did change out the base plate, which works from my round base plate to the square base plate. So, I did change out one Sig Mag, but really, I'm hoping McGar will send me, guys. If you've watched my Bread and 92 videos, you know I like McGar for carry. I'm hoping I can get McGar to send me out. This grip module I did pay for. I got a bit of a discount, uh, but I did pay for it. They wouldn't send me one totally to T&E. Uh, but I give my honest opinion anyway, and really, uh, it's worth it. It is totally worth it. As you saw in the profile picture, I now have a very nice setup. In fact, I'm even getting my, the way the old light PL2 here clamps down in metallic gray, um, it was always a little right on my regular grip module. Like, it wasn't centered on my sights, taking aim about 15, uh, about 12, 12, 15 yards away, um, this now it's actually locked down a bit better i don't know why but it's centered better so it, and i've been able to do that a couple times guys it works in all my holsters there's my fdo holster that i carry with this is my carry holster uh it fits in there full retention even with a fully loaded, loaded mag uh it fits in there perfectly uh fits in the cobra kydex perfectly and because we're running late i'm not going to do it right now but uh without the light Fits perfectly in my Bravo Conceal, my outside waistband. I used to carry it at 3 o'clock, saved my life uh, one night, basically when two guys tried to rob me, locking up a business. Uh, it also fits into the inside waistband. And I have a fifth one that isn't released to the public yet. I can't announce it yet for another couple weeks. Uh, but it fit in all the holsters, guys, whether with light or without light. Maybe a little bit looser in the front, which will speed up your draws and reholstering. So I do think they tapered it a little bit towards the front. Um, kind of a memory place, just like the original. You can put your thumb there and you can keep your finger high straighten outside the trigger guard till you're ready to fire here bit of a memory lines uh kind of there guys see feel the lines so that's a good indexing point and it gives me perfect reminds me to get a good thumb high grip to activate the light so guys there's the wilson compact module oh, one last thing it does seem to raise probably my my natural point of aim point of impact probably about a half inch at seven yards probably about an inch and a half i would guess at 15 yards if i'm doing my natural aim so really that's going to help you bear down in competition uh give it a more forward uh vertical fist i talked about that in a vertical punch video versus horizontal um it'll probably help you and recoil better but actually for self-defense it's putting the front dot in the rears halfway up in height if you can understand that which means it, it's my natural point. I'm not obscuring the target as much with the rears and I'd still be getting upper thoracic shots, good high shots, as opposed to dipping last second, five yards in surprise CCW, which people tend to do and they shoot people in the stomach, which doesn't stop them uh, because the rear is obscuring. So actually for me, it seems to be splitting the height. And then if I wanted to on a seven yard or longer shot here, but if I just did a draw point instinctual shooting, Probably about a half inch. Not as much as a Glock 19. I prefer other Glocks that don't shoot as high for me. Not as much as a Glock 19. Uh, but just a slight, slight difference. I want you to be aware of that. Guys, please thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. Please look at my best Pew Pew Reviews playlist. And thanks for checking out the Wilson Combat Grip Module. Let them know Dan the Wolfman, catch you 2com sent you if you order one. Thanks, everybody.